Hey Cancer, so we're going to do a timeless reading for you. This is a reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's a general reading, and since it's timeless, it should resonate for whenever you come across this video. Um, it's a general reading, so don't try to apply it where it doesn't belong. It's not going to be for everyone. Uh, check out your other placements, and there are other tarot readers. They're great, so um, yeah. So I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. I pre-shuffled all of your decks, but I like to shuffle them a little bit more sometimes. So I'm gonna pull your signifier first and then we're gonna move on to the star spread. Signifier for Cancer in this timeless reading, please. Sorry for the noise my roommate is up there walking on my head. We have the Magician in Reverse. I'm gonna pull one more. One more signifier for Cancer. Four of Swords. So I feel like you're taking some time, um, some time away uh, to reflect, maybe after some heartbreak perhaps. But we have the Four of Swords and the Magician in Reverse. And for me, uh, what I'm feeling here is that you're just taking some time away. Uh, you might have been busy. Actually, it kind of feels like you, like you might have been busy working on manifesting with someone. Um, and it might have turned into some kind of manipulative situation um, where it turned to heartbreak. So I feel like right now you might be taking some time away and reflecting, um, trying to see what all has gotten you here so far in your life and what are you going to take moving forward. Um, I feel like you're just trying to find clarity and some time away. So I'm going to move on to your main spread here and we're going to go over basically the situation that you're going through, uh, your fears, what might be blocking you, your strengths, and the solution. So, okay, Cancer. Timeless, timeless guidance for Cancer, please. Oops. So for your current situation, we have love. Um, so you, again, might be dealing with a love situation where it was um, feeling harmonious, but both of these both of these characters, even though, yeah, it's a lion, um, both of these characters are sleeping and resting again. So I feel like maybe you guys might be taking some time away to reflect and rest maybe from each other. It might be different for all of you, but we're going to clarify this in a minute. Um, so what's undermining you or what's blocking you right now? Six of water. Six of cups. So feeling a deep loss, feeling maybe some disappointment. Um, the six of cups can also mean you're having um, old memories come up or old past traumas come up from um, an old experience and maybe that put you in a position where you were just needing to take some time away because it hurt so much. There was so much emotion, a lot of emotion and maybe a little bit of illusion. So what are your strength structures and supports? Transformation. You have a great ability to adapt. You have a great ability to transform and um, re give yourself a, a rebirth that feels like it fits, you know. Um, I feel like you're not trying to go through cycle after cycle after cycle without learning. I feel like you're actually transforming 
and that's what's supporting you and that's your strength is that you're a phoenix you know it's in your blood to do so even though you're water and cancer it's just you're able to really really adapt and evolve through your growing through what you go through that's less brown um, for your weaknesses we have fears weaknesses and possibly an adversary we have the tower so you might be afraid of endings afraid of even building things because you're afraid of their endings you know um, you might be afraid of just have this deep fear of loss you know things not t turning out as planned or as ex as expected and what is your, your guidance for this whole, you know, what is your solution? The emperor. So I don't think this is the type of emperor that is not, you normally see in tarot where they're cold and, you know, whatever. This is a very warm Leo type feeling emperor, less, less so than an Aries. Um, I feel a lot of warmth here. I feel a lot of strength and ability to overcome these two cards match for me um, for this reading. It's like you're gaining your clarity and retaking your life back and um, rebuilding your empire and yourself. Uh, so we'll clarify more on this love situation here. We'll clarify on all of this. Okay, so I want to clarify Cancer's signifier, please. The Magician in Reverse and the Four of Swords. Okay, we have Creativity. So we have, with this rest, you're receiving a lot, you're, you're receiving a lot of downloads and a lot of progress and that's making you regain your balance your ability to co-create with the universe this is kind of like the empress card um and three is like co-creating with the universe so in in this rest you have progress you have things that are propelling you forward and moving towards a more vibrant and colorful um life and mind and heart soul you know feeling reborn like a phoenix so Okay, let's clarify the love for your, your present situation. Love for Cancer, timeless reading. Celebration. So I feel like maybe it's time after some, you might have taken a long, long time to restore yourself at a time a long time to recoup yourself but maybe here coming up you're hoping that you're going to be able to recon rec reconcile with someone that you love that you feel deep harmony and that you um, see a future with and you feel comfort with um, and you want to see a reconciliation you want to see you guys celebrate and enjoy each other again um, but you do have a great fear, and for some of you, maybe it might be a fear of a third-party situation, but that's not for all of you, a very small portion of you. Um, but I feel like in this time of reflection and resting, you discovered, you know, you're, you, you are really in love with this person, and you do want to try again, or they want to try again. Remember, the energies can be vice versa so it's definitely look like looking like you're feeling just really really in love with someone just absolutely smitten but you have this deep fear that's causing you to kind of pull away and feel emotionally imbalanced or um you might be just it, it feels like you have received rejection or abandonment in your childhood because of the six of water and for some reason, when you love someone, you have that triggered up again, and you're afraid to share yourself. You, you, you um, it might be someone very attractive, and you just don't think you're good enough, which is a lie. So, let's clarify Six of Water for Cancer. What's undermining Cancer? Mind. Yeah, it's all in your mind. 
it's all in your mind and it's so chaotic it's um it's chaotic and it's mechanical it's not your mechanical mind is blocking your loving heart and the possibilities that can open up to you transformation please for strength structures and supports cancer intensity so when you go through these rebirths you feel an intense surge of energy where you feel extremely focused extremely productive and you feel you remember when I don't know if any of you guys played Super Mario Kart but when you would go on the rainbow road and you would go super duper fast your growth when you when you go through these transformations your growth is like pew, like so fast and you get so much done and you really shine and radiate and it's very intense it's very focused and uh, vibrant and brilliant. So, I mean, um, I know it's insensitive to say suffering is grace, but I just hope that you find that there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, tower. Let's clarify. Tower for your fears, weaknesses, and adversaries. Cancer. possibilities. I feel like because those mountains are there, you're fearful of what's on the other side, but know that the possibilities really are in, in endless for you. They are extremely endless. The sun is on the horizon there. I mean, it's time to change your perspective and see exactly what you are capable of, whether it be in love or your career, whatever, it's going to be different for everybody. But don't be afraid of loss. Don't be afraid of endings because, you know, the eagle, um, even though he can't see over the horizon, he can continue to fly around the world. So it's endless. The possibilities are endless for you. Um, don't be afraid. I, I don't want to say be, don't be afraid, but like your, your feelings are valid, but I want to affirm to you that you have a great capacity to maneuver trans transform and be reborn emperor emperor for the solution and guidance regain your confidence you know regain your bewilderment and innocence with life this is a balance right here you know a very strong confident card but a very warm loving card for me in this deck at least and then for here we have you're returning to innocence you're being bewildered with life you're selling your your self-limiting beliefs you're selling this stories that you used to tell yourself and trading them in for all with life and bewilderment and just realizing that it's all endless it's all it's all possible it's all beautiful and endless and i feel like that's where you're going to gain your stability is becoming your true cancer self and um i know emperor really doesn't have anything to do with that but it just feels like you get you're getting back you're getting yourself back if you allow it and as for this love situation, it's just like um, your fears will contaminate that love, that heart. Remember, your mechanical brain will contaminate your loving heart. So try to keep that in mind. I'm going to pull an Archangel gem card for you. Guidance for Cancer, please. Mm. I am grateful that my vital life force provides me with the energy and motivation to live life at, it, at, at its fullest. Financial abundance is mine and my connection with the divine is live and well. I am energized, healthy, and strong. So your stone is rootalized quartz. Are you ready to move forward with your life? 
Have you the courage within you to move ahead with your ideas by getting the wheels in motion to create your project or intention? Recognize the amazing, powerful person that you are and shine on. You're ready, you're ready. Okay, an inner child card for Cancer, please. Inner child guidance for Cancer. Mm. The adventure, exploration, apprehension, and fulfillment. Today is a day to try something new. Explore just for fun and be a bit more daring. Do not let apprehension keep you from your new adventure. That feeling will fade, but the wonder that is to be found surely is not. Sure, surely will not. Yeah. There's a lot of color coming back into your life after this time of rest and, you know, putting aside your, your resources to kind of work on yourself. So um, don't have any doubts. You're on the right path. All right. Thanks, Cancer, and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. All right. Bye.